what's going on guys it is the coaster battleman here bringing you an awesome video i'm doing my first decade plan for the 2016 2017 year it's the king's island decade plan new for the 2017 season for king's island is mystic timbers hgci woody and winterfest and i'm using this year of 2017 where they get mystic timbers as a starting point for this decade plan but without a doubt I think this per this this plan seems like the plan that Kings Island should use but let's get started 2018 I think they'll get a triotech dark ride maybe a plants vs zombie style dark ride or it could be like a voyage to the iron reef style dark ride one of those two dark rides would be a nice fit at Kings Island and it would improve their dark ride lineup because the only other dark ride they have is Boo Blasters. So I think a Triotech dark ride would be a nice fit. Plus it would improve their thrill ride lineup because these Triotech dark rides are kind of thrilling. So yeah, let's move on to 2019. I think a Planet Snoopy expansion will come to Kings Island in 2019 because it would have been four years since they have last gotten one. And it seems like the perfect year to get a Planet Snoopy expansion. They already got some thrilling attractions in 2017 with Mystic Timbers and 2018 with the Triotech Dark Red. So I think something smaller like a Planet Snoopy expansion could come to Kings Island. In 2020, it seems like the perfect year to expand their water park. It would have been four years since they have expanded their water park with Tropical Plunge. They could add a kitty splash pad, probably, or they could go pretty big and add a toilet pole style ride, or maybe a water coaster. Let's move on to 2021. This is the big year for Kings Island in this decade plan. They will get a B&M Giga Coaster. Yes, I think they'll get a B&M Giga Coaster in 2021. It would have been seven years since they've gotten their last B&M, Banshee. So I think it would it would be like kind of a welcome addition because after a while, they're finally getting a B&M roller coaster and I think a Giga would complement their lineup very good and it would become the best coaster in the park. I think this area of land by the Bat and Banshee right here would be a good spot to put the Giga coaster because it's pretty wide in some parts. Like, the middle part is pretty wide, and there's two smaller, narrow parts that you could put some airtime moments. I think this is a good spot to put the B&M Giga Coaster. It could be a compact ride, spread out. Overall, either way, if it's compact or spread out, it would be a super fun ride, and considered one of the best coasters out there when it opens. In 2022, it will be Kings Island's 50th anniversary, and I think there'll be doing some park improvements with some new food options. And I think the park improvements would definitely help for the 50th anniversary. There could be like a an international street that could show like all of the um, Kings Island uh, roller coaster attractions or whatever. I think this would be a pretty cool option. But let's move on to 2023. Will they where they will get a Mondial Top Scan. I know a Mondial Top Scan is a very good flat ride. It's one of the coolest flat rides out there. But I think this would be a nice fit at Kings Island. It would give them another good flat ride slash dark ride. This would be one of their four flat rides besides Wind Seeker, Drop Tower, and Delirium. So I think their Thrill Slash Dark Ride lineup in 2023 would be one of the best in the Cedar Fair chain. In 2024, it seems like a smaller year here because it would be a smaller Planet Snoopy expansion plus Dinosaurs Alive could be removed. I think if Dinosaurs Alive was removed, there would be tons of land for a brand new coaster for the coming years of Kings Island if this happens. And I think 2024 will be the perfect year to remove Dinosaurs Alive because the animatronics would be starting to wear down by this time. So I think 
when all the animatronics are kind of worn down and running out of battery or whatever, I think this would be at the perfect time to remove Dinosaurs Alive for a B&M launched wing coaster in 2025. But they could theme it pretty good to a dinosaur. They could theme it like to a pterodactyl. You just fly with a launch and then there could be like five inversions. Like, seriously, I think a B&M launch wing coaster would be an amazing fit for Kings Island. As they don't have any launch coaster like it. They have your standard sit-down launch coaster, Flight of Fear, and it's indoors. And they have Backlot Stunt Coaster, which is a family launch coaster. But this would be their best launch coaster yet. This wing coaster could be in the top five at Kings Island. Along with Diamondback, Banshee, Mystic Timbers, The Beast, their Giga Coaster. I probably said six coasters, but... They have Kings Island in 2025, they would have so many of some of the best coasters out there. They could possibly be the roller coaster capital of the world if they if this plan came true. They they could, depending on if Cedar Point gets anything. And Kings Island is not landlocked, so they can get so many different new coasters in the coming years. But in 2026, I think a water park expansion will come to Kings Island and some new food options. I think this will be a smaller year, maybe focus on the families, maybe a nice smaller, some smaller slides, maybe a kid area. But let's move on to 2027, where Vortex will be renovated. In 2027, it would have been 40 years since Vortex opened in 1987 as the first coaster to feature six inversions, but that's 10 years from now, so they could be doing something very different, but this is just a prediction. I think there will be new trains on Vortex and they will put vest restraints on the new trains so there is no more head banging or ear banging. So the ride could be a whole lot better and be considered one of the better coasters at Kings Island. But if this plan comes true, I think Kings Island could become the new Cedar Point, maybe. Maybe the new Cedar Point, I don't know, but Kings Island, very good park. If this plan were to come true, it seems like the perfect plan for them. And I think this is a very highly possible plan. They could get two new B&Ms plus a renovation of one of their old coasters. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.